And to start off my first video, I thought not what I thought well, why not do my 2024 reading journal. Yeah, journal, it's called a journal. Hey guys welcome to my channel this is actually gonna be my first YouTube video I thought why not start with my 2024 reading journal I started reading reading journals in 2020 2022 so this is gonna be my third year doing it so I was just thinking I do kind of a 2020 2020 2020 Whoa. 2024 reading journal setup and a flip through at the end so i think that's what we're gonna do so let's get started okay guys so this is my 2024 reading journal i got the i think it was called artist loft from michael's and i got it in this like teal green color and i purchased my previous journals from michael's as well my journals have always kind of been plain in the front because i always do kind of like a cover a journal cover in the beginning so i just use these stickers that i had that i haven't really used just as book nerd and introvert so it's just a little plain but still cute so basically i've already sketched out all of my pages and now we're just gonna use this time to kind of fill in everything and then um i'll do a final flip through to show you guys what each page is and how the outcome came out Okay, so I'm pretty much done with the sketching, coloring in the pages. Um, it did take quite a while, but we're finally here. So I'm just going to do a little flip through, explain each page, and then see how everything turned out. So this is my title page. So I just wrote Julissa's 2024 reading journal. Um, I wanted to go with a little open book theme and then the words coming from the book are supposed to form my title. I think for this journal I was going for a bookmark slash butterfly theme. It's not on the cover but it will be throughout the journal. Then I have my goals page. So just a, a few goals that I hope to reach in this year. Then we have the star rating. So here's the bookmark theme. 
and then we have the one star, two star, three, four, five, and then I chose these colors to correspond to my book ratings this year. Then we have the TBR list. I went with an orange theme, and then these are all just potential books that I hope to read this year as well. I never really get to all of them, at least last year I didn't, but fingers crossed for this year. <laughs> And then I did an extra just in case I happen to read more books, but knowing myself, I probably won't. <laughs> then we have the reading shelf. I actually really loved how this one turned out. In my past few journal journals, I never really did like a little spread drawing moment, I guess, if that makes sense. Um, but I saw a lot of people do windows and stuff like that. I actually sketched this out from a picture that I found on Google. And then last minute I decided to color it kind of like nighttime. Um, but yeah, this is my shelf and I put a little cute little stuff on the shelves. So we have the 12 challenge. So here I'll actually print out mini book covers of 12 books that my friends on Instagram recommended to me. So hopefully I'm able to get to all of those. Then we have my physical TBR, which are the books that I currently own and that are on my shelf that I have not read and some of these have been on there quite a while <laughs> but um, once I read them I'm just going to check them off. Then we have an arc list. I didn't have this one last year but I decided to add it because I had been reading quite a few arcs last year so I'm just hoping to kind of just add them to this little chart. Then we have Kindle reads. I have Kindle Unlimited so I usually read a lot of Kindle Ebook. So I kind of went with the Kindle app theme as well with like the tree and the silhouette of someone reading um, And then we have the butterfly theme going on Then we have rereads last year I wanted to reread a couple of my favorite books, but I never really got to it So I'm really hoping to get to read some and then I'll just list them here Then genre tracker. I honestly don't even know what I try to do here. Um, I try to do like a mini chart I guess so these colors correspond to the six genres that I picked and then based on what I read, I'll color it in corresponding to the month that I read it in. And then we have yearly statistics. This is where I fill in how many books, pages, and all this good stuff for each month and then at the end, I'll total it. And then for this one, I really like this page because I did cutouts of butterflies from like an old book. So it has like little bookish words. So I did that and I pasted them all around the page. So I really like how that turned out. Then I have book tracker. So here's the book mark theme going again. So every time I complete a book, I'm just going to fill it in with the star reading color. So it's just starting one, starting here, and then it goes around. And I went all the way up to 58, but my goal was 40. And I doubt I'll get to 58, but <laughs> just in case. And then I kind of went with the open book theme again, kind of like my cover page with the same little books flying and butterflies too. Then we have book bingo. This is also new. I did not do this last year, but I saw it um, and I thought it was the cutest thing. I saw a Pinterest picture from KAC Planner on Instagram. I hope I'm saying that right. So I wanted to try it out. So I put a few prompts here and then here I'm just going to print mini books that correspond to which ones I actually get to and then hopefully I can get bingo. Then we have the A through Z challenge. We have the little bookmark theme going again and then just based on the book that I read I can fill it out on the letter that it starts with. Then we have the series tracker. Oh my god, I am so sorry. I really went all out this year. There was like 22 spreads here. I don't think I'm going to do this much next year, <laughs> but um, this is the series tracker. So I wrote kind of like the series that I'm eyeing or that I've started and then I just fill it in based on the color. Then we have anticipated releases, got a, a pink theme going on, butterflies as well. I've only filled in for February, April, and June, but yeah, this is the anticipated releases page. Then I have Goodreads statistics. I actually saw this on a video on TikTok from the user LiveB underscore reads. I love her journal spreads, so I really got inspiration to kind of include it into mine just to see how I've done from 2022 to this year. So I'll be able to fill this in at the end of the year. Then we have my five star favorites. I usually like drawing in my covers myself to be a little bit more creative. I've done that for the past two years that I've had um, the reading journals. So that's what I'll be doing with my five star reads on this page. And then I also cut out more butterflies. <laughs> 
Then we have Book of the Year. So I saw this template on Pinterest. I don't know who started it, but I saw it on there. So I decided to kind of do the whole crown thing and then I put Book of the Year down here. And then last year I pasted covers of Book of the Year, but this year um, I thought I'd just make it easier and just kind of write in the titles for each month and then eventually get to the end. And then my last spread is Top 12 of 2024. And I have also saw this template kind of with the big books. Um, I saw a picture on Pinterest from Rachel Catherine. Um, so I decided to kind of go with this kind of theme. So at the end of the year, I'll just put in the title name, maybe decorate the book based on which one it is. And then that will give me my top 12. So this is my 2024 reading journal. Okay, so that's pretty much all for today's video. Thank you so much for watching my first YouTube video ever. I think I'm gonna have my channel as like a bookish theme, makeup, beauty, art, kind of crafty, anything creative. So stay tuned for that. But thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in the next one.